Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of MakerBox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a nylon from Tolman 3D. It's called 230 Nylon. So let's have a look after the intro. So before I start, I want to thank MakerBox for sending me the MakerBox samples for the purpose of doing those videos. So I get a sponsorship from them. That's awesome. But let's have a look at the sticker for the nylon from Tolman 3D. So this st sticker had maybe seen better days. It's somewhat <laughs> dark, <laughs> but uh, here it says it's 230, 230 nylon um, from Tolman 3D. Um, they say here print on glue stick or the enclosed gecko tech sample and what they did they sent a like a 10 by 10 centimeter big gecko tech sample that i used to print out those samples but here they state the print temperature should be 228 to 235 degrees and that's pretty specific and i printed out at 230 degrees somewhere in the middle there and I printed out on the Gectec and had good results with that. And here it says uh, it's a nylon blend that prints at low temperatures. This nylon does not require a heated bed or an all metal hot end. And they included the Gectec Easy Stick Hot with this sample. And I was really happy to try out that print surface. And what I did after I printed out those samples, I made an order for the Gectec sheet because I want to have it on my printer as an option. But uh, let's have a look at the print side. I first printed out my microcoin and that came out pretty nice. Uh, the detail in the letters are maybe not the absolute best. Uh, it blends a little bit together. And this printed out. This is printed out with a no particling fan so maybe that's the reason for that but otherwise the uh, coin came out pretty great and it like a like a semi semi flex material um, it's uh, printed out without any infill and it came out rather nice i was a little bit surprised how nice the nylon <laughs> would perform i wasn't expecting a, a high quality print but I've never used a nylon, a clear nylon before, so I was not sure what to expect. <laughs> but this came out excellent. And I printed out then a, a mechanical part. This is like a hook that I can use, like a double-sided tape, and put it on the wall and hang something on here. And this is uh, really tough, and you can bend it a little bit. But it's really tough and I don't think you can tear this apart. It's really strong um, like for a mechanical part like this. It's an awesome filament on option and it's really smooth to touch and, and print quality is excellent. So I, I was really happy with this print. And then printed out this model. This is maybe uh, not a typical nylon print <laughs> uh, model like this, but this is the oddest model by Gareth. And here I got uh, a little bit of stringing. It's uh, much less stringing than I would expect for a nylon, but it's like a very fine, thin strings of, of, of stringing. Um, it can easily be removed, but otherwise the, the print quality, like here on the back side, is really smooth and uh, no issues printing, like those fine details in the tips here, are coming out excellent. Um, this was giving me excellent results and uh, this nylon was performing much better than I would uh, hope for a filament that didn't use a part cooling fan. So this was coming out excellent. And then decided to try out the part cooling fan <laughs> settings a little bit and this is just a small pole and here I was printing a little bit too fast for the part to cool down and at this point I turned on the part cooling fan up to like 30% and then I got a really nice print. So if you're printing fine details like this and nothing else on the pad you really have to slow, slow it down or, or turn on the fan part cooling fan a little bit um, it's still really strong even though I had the part cooling you can use part cooling to some degree but I believe if you use it uh, like full force it will 
not bond really well together, so uh, you have to compromise maybe uh, sometimes. And then print out this uh, mechanical part. This is just a small part that goes onto a groove in my oven, and I can hang something on, like my headphones or something. Uh, it sticks to the groove. And here was some burnt filament <laughs> coming loose. It's not uh, not of the nylon's fault, but it was uh, just something that was on the nozzle. But this came out with a little bit of warping, as you can see maybe here. You can see it's a little bit of bent. So this part here that had the small surface uh, to the print bed was uh, warping a little bit. So it's a little bit bent. But um, maybe I should print a, with a small brim for a type of model that has a small surface area on the print bed. But otherwise this came out really nice and it's really tough and I was trying to bend this. Uh, uh, you can bend it a little bit but it really holds its shape even if you force it <laughs> with pliers. <laughs> so it's really tough material. So this was the Tolman 3D 230 or 230 nylon. I was really happy to test out a Tolman 3D nylon. I haven't bought a roll of it myself so this was the first time I was trying out like a pure nylon without any uh, additional particles like carbon fiber or, or glass or anything like that but this came out pretty good I was quite surprised about uh, I would get uh, good detail in the, in the parts without particling fun and I was really happy with this filament so I think Tolman 3D is doing a great job with this filament lowering the print temperature and you can print this on uh, most printers I would say because you don't have to print at a very high temperature so you can have a look at tolman3d.com for, for this filament but this will be it for this video I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one